The world's biggest jet engine isn't the General Electric GE9X, but it's a close contender. The true title actually goes to the Rolls-Royce Ultrafan, which is still in its testing phase. Rolls-Royce has pushed it to full power, hinting at its potential impact on aviation. This massive engine represents the future of air travel. But before delving into its size and capabilities, it's essential to understand why it's being developed. Over the past decade, the aviation industry has prioritized creating more efficient and environmentally friendly engines due to growing concerns about climate change and carbon emissions. The push for greener flying aims to reverse the trend predicted by the United Nations, which forecasted a tripling of emissions by 2050. Airlines are now exploring the potential of sustainable aviation fuel, derived from renewable sources like used cooking oil or algae, instead of traditional jet fuel made from petroleum. This shift is driven by the significant reduction in emissions that sustainable aviation fuel promises. Airbus is leading the charge, aiming for its aircraft to operate on 100% sustainable aviation fuel by 2030. This endeavor has sparked what aviation enthusiasts call the engine war, as manufacturers like Pratt & Whitney, Rolls-Royce, and GE Aerospace vie to develop eco-friendly engines that deliver ample power for the next generation of aircraft. Joint ventures such as CFM International, which is a collaboration between GE Aerospace and Safran, and International Aero Engines involving Rolls-Royce, Pratt and & Whitney and three other global manufacturers are also actively participating in this competition. Several engines from different manufacturers have already entered the market, showcasing advancements in efficiency and eco-friendliness. Pratt & Whitney's Pure Power PW1100G engines, particularly the PW1135 GJM variant, have significantly reduced fuel consumption by 16% and noise emissions by an impressive 75%. These engines are now utilized in aircraft like the Airbus A321neo. CFM International's LEAP engines have become the go-to choice for narrow-body aircraft, with the LEAP 1A engine leading the pack in efficiency and environmental friendliness since its introduction in 2016, powering aircraft like the Airbus A320neo. GE Aerospace boasts the powerful GE9X high-bypass turbofan engine, which was considered the largest jet engine until the development of the Rolls-Royce Ultrafan. However, the GE9X is specifically designed for the Boeing 777X and is yet to undergo full-scale testing. Rolls-Royce, on the other hand, has faced challenges in this competitive landscape. Their last engine, the Trent XWB97, was produced in 2014, and they are striving to regain their footing in the engine race. Despite being Rolls-Royce's most powerful engine currently in operation, its development began before the aviation industry prioritized sustainability. The XWB engine project incurred significant losses for Rolls-Royce following the COVID-19 pandemic. Additionally, Rolls-Royce currently focuses on producing engines for wide-body aircraft, while there is greater demand for narrow-body aircraft. However, Rolls-Royce is actively changing this narrative with the development of its new Ultrafan engine. The Ultrafan concept was unveiled by Rolls-Royce in 2014, initially intended as a new engine unit, but later serving as a testbed for new technologies due to limited interest from aircraft manufacturers like Airbus and Boeing. Testing of the Ultrafan engine began in early 2023 at the world's largest aero engine testing facility, located in the UK. The initial test utilized 100% sustainable aviation fuel, and in April 2023, the Ultrafan demonstrator was run for the first time. Rolls-Royce CEO Tufan Ergen Bilgis has described the demonstrator as a game changer, with the potential to enhance both current and future engines. The demonstrator will assess various advanced features in the engine system, including materials, core, and gear architecture. One notable feature of the Ultrafan engine is its substantial size, surpassing the GE9X as the world's largest engine, with a diameter wider than the fuselage of a Boeing 737. The Ultrafan, with its diameter of 140 inches, is nearly 4% larger than its predecessor, earning it the title of the world's largest engine. However, its significance goes beyond its size. It holds the potential to revolutionize aviation by offering improved efficiency, reduced emissions, and exceptional performance enhancements. So, 
How does the Rolls-Royce Ultrafan operate? Essentially, it's a turbofan engine comprising key components, a fan, compressor, combustor, and turbine. The fan's primary role is to draw in air, dividing it into two streams. One stream passes through the core, where it undergoes compression, fuel mixing, and ignition to generate thrust. The other stream bypasses the core, contributing additional thrust. The bypass ratio, which is the ratio between the mass flow rate of the bypassing stream and that entering the core, greatly influences the engine's efficiency and noise levels. The ultrafan boasts an exceptionally high bypass ratio of approximately 15 to 1, achieved by combining a large fan with a relatively compact core design. This not only improves efficiency, but also reduces weight and complexity. Furthermore, the ultrafan incorporates a power gearbox that connects the fan to the low pressure turbine, allowing the fan to rotate at a different speed than the core. This arrangement ensures optimal performance and efficiency. During testing, the power gearbox has delivered an impressive 64 megawatts, setting a record in aerospace power. Another standout feature of the Ultrafan is its employment of carbon titanium fan blades, which offer both increased strength and reduced weight compared to conventional metal blades. Constructed from a composite material consisting of carbon fibers embedded in a titanium matrix, these fan blades can withstand high loads and temperatures, while exhibiting excellent resistance to corrosion and fatigue. Moreover, the engine incorporates a lean burn combustor, which enhances fuel efficiency and reduces emissions by employing less fuel and more air in the combustion process. This leads to lower flame temperatures and decreased nitrogen oxide emissions, which are significant contributors to air pollution. In terms of sustainability and adaptability, the Ultrafan offers substantial benefits. According to Rolls-Royce, the technology is 25% more efficient than the first-generation Trent engine and could potentially save up to 20% of fuel per flight compared to current engines. Additionally, it could reduce nitrogen oxide emissions by nearly 40%, thus aiding in the reduction of air pollution. Furthermore, the Ultrafan is estimated to produce 35% less noise than Trent engines and virtually eliminate non-volatile particulate matter, thus protecting human health. The adaptability of the Ultrafan is perhaps its most significant attribute. With a thrust range spanning from 25,000 to over 100,000 pounds, it can power a wide array of aircraft, ranging from narrow body to wide body models. This versatility is crucial for Rolls-Royce as they aim to strengthen their position in the narrow body market. To truly grasp the power of the Rolls-Royce Ultrafan, it's essential to compare it briefly with other potent engines in the market. Let's start with General Electric's GE9X engine, a high bypass turbofan featuring a fan diameter of 134 inches, a bypass ratio of approximately 10 to 1, and a takeoff thrust of 110,000 pounds. With a remarkable 10% improvement in efficiency over its predecessor, the GE90, it holds the record for the highest thrust at 134,000 pounds, making it the world's most powerful jet engine. Next, Pratt & Whitney's PW 1100 GJM, which powers the Airbus A320neo, boasts an 81-inch fan diameter, a bypass ratio of 12.5 to 1, and a thrust range of 22,000 to 33,000 pounds, achieving a 16% increase in efficiency over its predecessor. Then there's the Leap 1A engine by CFM International, also for the Airbus A320neo, with a fan diameter of 78 inches, a bypass ratio of 11 to 1, and a thrust range of 23,000 to 35,000 pounds. It achieves a 15% reduction in carbon emissions and 50% lower nitrogen oxide emissions, aligning with environmental standards set by the International Civil Aviation Organization. The Ultrafan surpasses these engines in various aspects, including fan diameter, bypass ratio, fuel efficiency, emissions reduction, and adaptability. Only the GE9X outmatches it in power. However, crucially, the Ultrafan is designed to be future-proof, as it can operate on 100% sustainable aviation fuel right from the start. The future of the Rolls-Royce Ultrafan holds significant promise, despite facing some challenges. 
While it offers several advantages over its competitors in terms of performance and sustainability, it comes with a reported price tag of close to $30 million per unit, making it more expensive than many of its counterparts. Additionally, it lags behind in development, and there is uncertainty about how the market will respond when it is finally ready. However, this delay in development could actually work in Rolls-Royce's favor. Neither Boeing nor Airbus currently have any commercial aircraft in the advanced stages of development, providing an opportunity for the Ultrafan to gain traction before the next generation of aircraft is built. Furthermore, the surge in demand for travel since the onset of the pandemic has led airlines to use wide-body jets more frequently, potentially allowing Rolls-Royce to capitalize on the demand for its wide-body engines like the Trent series and easing the pressure to expedite Ultrafan development. Moreover, recent issues faced by competitors such as Pratt and Whitney, with contamination found in their PW1100 GJM engines, highlight the importance of reliability and quality assurance in the aviation industry. This could position Rolls-Royce favorably in the market as it continues to refine and develop the Ultrafan. Incidents like those faced by competitors could indeed create an opening for the Ultrafan in the future. Nevertheless, Rolls-Royce is making steady progress towards its goal, with the Ultrafan now in its final build stage at the company's facility in the UK. After undergoing maiden ground tests in Gloucestershire back in November 2023, it is anticipated to undergo flight tests on a Boeing 747 test aircraft this year in Arizona. Rolls-Royce aims for Ultrafan certification by 2027 and entry into service by 2030. These are ambitious plans, but the Ultrafan has the potential to be a game-changer in aviation, offering unmatched efficiency, enhanced performance, and a commitment to sustainability. Rolls-Royce is also exploring hybrid electric and hydrogen power solutions, which could further reduce or eliminate emissions from aviation. These initiatives align with Rolls-Royce's strategy to quadruple its 2022 operating profits by 2027 through improving jet engine performance and reducing costs. While the company intends to leverage its strength in the wide-body market, it also seeks to capitalize on opportunities in the single-aisle market by introducing engines like the Ultrafan. Rolls-Royce's plans for the Ultrafan are ambitious, but considering its potential contributions to aviation, it's understandable why they're investing in what they see as the future of the industry. Whether the Ultrafan will truly revolutionize aviation or face challenges similar to some of its predecessors remains to be seen. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time,